Benjamin Banobio is the Director of Electoral Services at the Electoral Commission. Mr. Banobio, good morning. Welcome to Key Point. Thank you and good morning. And just for the benefit and development of this democracy that we are practicing, we had to do well to bring all the persons on the table on this matter, and especially the Electoral Commission. So, uh, Mr. Banobio, uh, to make the time to, to, to be with us, the Director of Electoral Services, answering specific questions about the issues that have been raised. And so I want to start off with you on this. Um, first of all, the concerns that have come, Mr. Banobio, about the series of errors or mistakes that have occurred in the number of these exercises the Electoral Commission has undertaken. I've spoken to the likes of CDD, not just the NDC, but CDD and others, who have specifically stated that that has impacted on the trust for the Commission going into this election. You know, trust is crucial in every electoral process. Is the Commission concerned about this, this kind of sentiment, about this dwindling trust that you're, you're experiencing? Thank you very much. Electoral Commission as election management body is so much concerned when it comes to issues of trust. But as a commission, we go on all our ways to ensure that we work professionally and we perform our duties in that order to ensure that if it's the register, we come out with an all-inclusive and credible voters' role. You see, after the registration exercise, we are compelled to exhibit the voters' register. And in the course of the registration, there's a possibility for some errors to occur. Because there are human beings, people that we have engaged, who register the people. So if names are spelled wrong, and even in tra transporting, or as, uh, transporting the data onto our database, there's a possibility of data loss, there's a possibility of a file being corrupted. So in case of situation when the register is completed, such people will not have their names on the register. So in the course of the registration, so many things could happen. Mm -hmm. And we use the exhibition to correct these anomalies. So during the exhibition, we encourage everyone to be there. And fortunately for us this time around, we did not only base our trust on only the voter. We explored other means. We engaged four different approaches in detecting errors and correcting them. Previously, the voter will have to go to the exhibition center, look at his or her details, and indicate that my details are not correct. You need to correct it for me. Or I have been omitted. You need to do inclusion for me. This time around, Apart from the voter going to the center to check his details, the exhibition officers have, were also tasked to practically go through the register page by page and identify any issue that needs to be resolved. Then they report to us for the resolution. Mm -hmm. Secondly, the second level, we have provided an electronic version of the voters register in every district of the Electoral Commission. We call it the register viewer. Officers were taxed. They have been uploaded onto their desktop to go through and then identify issues for resolution. Mm -hmm. Aside that, our regional officers and their deputies on their monitor were also taxed to do the same. Then when we come to the head office, we have a whole team that is also dedicated to going through the electronic version of the register to identify issues that need to be resolved. And so, most of the issues that were identified, we resolved them. And as we are talking now, all the issues identified have been resolved. NDC and other political parties and other uh, organizations are all our critical stakeholders. We are happy when they come on board with such issues for redress. They indicated that they wanted to meet us. We accepted to meet them. They came and gave us five areas 
that they said there were some anomalies or irregularities with the register. Mm -hmm. So they took us through. They mentioned them, for instance, missing names. Then they will mention the figure. We have detected for missing name about 3,900 and something figure. Then they will mention transfer without a, 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 a path. Then they will mention the figure. So when they have gone through this, they showed us a few of them, about three or so of such instances. Mm -hmm. And so we told them, yes, you are welcome. We thank you for your contribution. We we'll work on it. We we'll look at it, investigate, and then if they have not been corrected already, we we'll fake the necessary corrections. Because when they came, we told them that, yes, we have already identified most of these, and we have gone ahead to ensure that they are corrected. But we thank you for coming. Let us have what you have brought so that we can also investigate. And if they have not been already corrected, we will do that. Because uh, all that the parties and the NDC are looking for it's for credible voters register. Mm -hmm. And as a commission, that is what we are also looking for. Because in our bid to ensure successful election, if you do not get credible and an all-inclusive register, we will not be going anywhere. Because mm -hmm. if you have a credible voters register, you mm -hmm. have chopped not less than 60 percent of the success level towards achieving successful election. So we welcome them. I see. Incidentally, uh, they told us that when they go to the office, they will get it to us in the evening. But before they left, they told us to also give them what we have discovered so far. Mm -hmm. And we told them it's an ongoing process. So they should rather let us have this, incorporate in two hours, finish everything, then we'll give it to them. I see. So, so they you, 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 they are, they are, no, please, they have not them. given us our issues. You, you, you've explained to, to, a, to a certain point where you had indicated that this was an ongoing process and so you actually acknowledge the issues that the NDC brought to you and you're looking into them as well. If you say you're looking into them, does that mean that the EC actually admits that what the NDC pointed out to you was indeed the case and what had happened? Or the, you, you said that these issues are, are not new? Because that was also reported. In fact, that's what an official within the commission said that this, this is not new. And so the concerns that the NDC were raising really did not warrant, for instance, an audit, a forensic audit for that matter. Uh, please, let me come in. Let me come in and clarify issues there. Mm -hmm. I did not say that because it is known, it is not new, we ignore it. No. We said that already we have identified some of these issues. Mm -hmm. So we thank you for bringing your issues, so for, for telling us your issues. But let us have it so that we will investigate. If we have not already corrected them, because as indicated, we have corrected a lot of them. So they should let us see, and then we will investigate. If we have not already corrected them, then we will go ahead and effect the necessary changes. It's not that we are saying that because uh, uh, it's not new, we don't care. No. We want to have a very clean voters register. So if the NDC is going to support us in that order, they are welcome. No, so the, the POSIGA official, for instance, and the concerns that were raised in the, in the minority leaders' constituency, Jumako Sian constituency, all of those wrong transfers which you addressed at the, at, the, at the press conference, you had identified them already before the NDC brought them up? Yes, please. You see, as I told you, we have established four-pronged approaches. So before the NDC came, we have identified all these things. We we're working on them. The wrong voter transfers? Uh, the wrong voter transfers. That is Pusiga. Yes. Pusiga, what happened was that, you see, our system is said that if you want to do a transfer, you need to go to our various district offices. Mm -hmm. And every office has a unique password before you can assess the transfer facility. And the transfer facility accept fingerprint verification and facial verification. As of the time that this issue occurred, we have not instituted the liveliness feature into the system. Why, why, why did you not institute the liveliness check? Because uh, if, you, if I look at Regulation 22, it's, it's actually very basic. This liveliness check should have been part of the process right from the start, is it not? Yes. Uh, right. The last time 
when they came, when the NTC came, our IC consultant explained that when the system was being developed at that time, the liveliness check that was at the market was not, uh, 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 it was made with the European specification. So even if you have gone for it, you do not have uh, help us in our bid. But currently, we have the one that has been developed that is good for uh, those of us in this part of the world. I see. So, so that was why initially... check was developed with European specification. Yeah. Initially, that was what it was done. But when our system was So when did built. you procure this liveliness check? Because you knew you were going to do an exhibition exercise. You see... And so if you get to the point and you say, because it was developed with European specifications, you couldn't start the process as required by law with the liveliness check, and you had to then introduce us at some point, that's concerning. Because then everything that would have happened between that period when you did not issue the liveliness check would have actually happened unchecked if it had not been raised, for instance, by the NDC. You know, you know what? This is a system. And system develop, ICT develops day in, day out. And since we started this uh, registration exercise with this uh, facility since 2020, we have not had such occurrence. I see. Uh, when this thing happened, then we realized the need for us to go for the liveliness check so that we can use that one to prevent anyone who want to use the photograph as was used mm. to effect transfer. And currently we have done that, but we did not stop there. We went through all the transfer that has been made to ensure that nobody used the same path to effect the transfer, and we did not find any. I, I see. I, I, well, I just want to follow what you are saying. I'm, at one point in time, you are saying that they brought, the NDC brought some issues to you which you are looking into. At another point, you said they didn't um, leave the issues with you. I'm confused. No, don't well, be confused. What okay. I'm saying is that they came to us and presented issues, okay. not that they gave it to us. Okay. They said we have found five irregularities with the voters' rule. Yeah. And they indicated, for instance, uh, missing voters, 3,900 and something, okay. uh, transfer voters. This, this, then they stated them okay. one after the other. Yes. Then they showed us pro a projector. On the projector, they showed us some of the issues, examples of them. Mm -hmm. So we asked them to leave that document with us so that we go through to investigate, which they said they would give it to us when they go back to the office. I see. But they didn't. They didn't. Okay, I'm sure we'll get an explanation as to why that decision. But then the, the, the liveliness check that you procured, when did you procure it? The moment this issue came and we investigated and we were able to know that that was what they did, commission quickly have to take steps in procuring it. Okay, so it means that you, you did not have the liveliness check as a feature before the exhibition exercise? Yes, please. But you know... But we got it before the end of the exhibition exercise. But per Regulation 22, it is supposed to be part of the process right from the beginning, is it not? That is why I say that ICT keeps on developing. At a stage, if you, the facility is there and if it is it is able to produce what we need, we'll go for it. Yes, but I'm, at that level, when we started, we did not have that liveliness facility there. But why? And as I indicated, because that time, the one at the market would not suit our specification. But you knew you were going to do an exhibition exercise. So what prevented you from procuring it before the exercise? You see, when challenges come, that is where we go out for other alternatives. Oh. If the system is working, it has not broken, you do not change it. It so is when such challenges come, then you need to move ahead and get things in place to ensure that it is not abused. <laughs> okay, so, well, the, so these are the I initial answers to the questions. I, I, I'm, I'm still going to try and get some clarity on this, why, they, because I'm, there's clear indication of what Regulation 22 says.